Hi everyone, today I'm going to be setting up the large house with carport. So here it is, it's similar to Maple Manor but with a blue roof and it comes as a gift set so it comes with a car, Amelia Snow and a dining room set. So first I'm going to choose which family is going to live here. So even though it comes with Amelia Snow, the Snow Rabbit Mother, I think I might choose a different family to live here. I was looking at the colours of this house, so it's got a blue roof and then the walls are kind of a creamy yellow. So I was looking at all my Sylvanians, thinking which family would look good with those colours and um, what clothes have those colours in them. And I thought this would be a great home for the Slidell Fox family. So we've got kitchen, dining in here, and then three empty rooms. And then also the space above the carport as well. So I think as you come into the door here, we could have a living room. And then the two upstairs rooms will be bedrooms. And somehow we want to make space for a bathroom as well. That's the problem with all these houses. They all have just one room, not enough. Like if there was one more room, then you could have a bathroom. So yeah, let's do it. I think I will use this one, but then change the covers on the cushions to the green set. So I'll now put it in the front room. So we've got a TV. I've put that in the corner. And I'll put the sofa here, so that will be next to the stairs, but you can still walk through there. And then a table there. And then if I put, so the archways there, if I put the other chairs there, you won't be able to go through the arch. So I think I might... Put the other chairs like that. Or maybe like this a bit more so that you can still kind of see into the room from the other chair so you're not hiding behind the stairs. So now upstairs we're going to have the parents bedroom here as it's got the balcony that goes through this door here and then this will be the children's room. So I'll look for a children's bedroom first. And I think I'll use this one, the latest children's bedroom set. So, I'll now put the children's bedroom set in. So, I think this is a good sized bedroom and the set that I chose fits the space well with it not being too cramped. So, next is the parents' bedroom and we want to try and squeeze a bath somewhere into this as well. So the bedrooms that I've chosen for 
this one is not in this drawer. Uh, not in that drawer either. Aha! Is here. And it has this bed here. And I thought the blue and yellow matches the house. So this is the master bedroom set. So I haven't included the whole set as there wasn't really enough room for the wardrobe and there wasn't enough room for all of the pieces. The rest of them I've just left inside the wardrobe and I'll put that back into the drawer. And lastly we've got this space here to set up and even though it's the middle of winter we're going to pretend it isn't and I'm going to add the barbecue set. I think this bit looks really cool and it'd be really nice for them to use in the summer. So in the end there wasn't anywhere where I could put a bathroom unfortunately, we'll just have to pretend that there is one and you just can't see it <laughs> because there just wasn't room to put it in a bedroom as I tried it's quite a big bedroom set with quite a lot in there that I couldn't even fit the wardrobe in easily with still being able to get in the room and out onto the balcony so yeah but I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool. I guess only the way, the only other way you could have a bathroom would be if you'd maybe put the dining room in, actually inside the kitchen so there's not really enough room to walk around and then having the living room here and have a bathroom in that room. But yeah, I think I'm really happy with how it is. And it looks really cool and hopefully the slide owls will enjoy living there. They finally got home, they're one of my oldest families and they've been on the waiting list for a house for quite a long time and they finally got their brand new home. So I just thought that I'd quickly try folding the house like that and to see what it'd look like like that and I think this actually works a little bit better. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!